the following six-man contest. It's a ladder match. And from Maryville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens. The man has made his way up from NXT to become the upper echelon of the WWE locker room. Kevin Owens looks ready to go. This Buffalo crowd is buzzing. They can't wait for this one to get underway. It's because it's freezing outside. From Kansas City, weighing in at 275 pounds, Baron Corbin. This match has chaos written all over it. That's what I love about it. I love chaos. It's money in the bank. The night where one lucky competitor comes one step closer to realizing the ultimate dream. Weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena! Just listen to this crowd. They're going through the roof for this six-man matchup. Who could blame them? This is awesome. Very curious to see how well these teams coexist in this six-man tag team match. Representing American Alpha from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 200 pounds, Chad Gable. Chad Gable making his way to the ring. Those eyes are locked on the Money in the Bank briefcase, hanging high above the ring.
representing American Alpha from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 245 pounds, Jason Jordan. Jason Jordan making his way to the ring. Buffalo, you better be ready. This match is going to be insane. Settle for nothing short of a victory here tonight. This Buffalo crowd is buzzing. They can't wait for this one to get underway. It's because it's freezing outside. The money in the bank is 20 feet away, and all you have to do is get through five other superstars to get it. Well, I know one thing for certain. We're going to get our money's worth in this one. Let's do this. But I know one thing. The city of Buffalo has undergone a dramatic transformation, and these fans look revitalized as well. A knockdown drag out brawl, complete with a big stomp. Man, these guys are throwing bombs. They're pulling out all the stops. Perhaps looking to take the action to the outside here. Perhaps. It's happening, Cole, right before your very eyes. Jason Jordan, what must he be thinking now? Look at this. Usually these two are standing in the corner together, not on the opposite sides of the ring, ready to lock up against one another. How would you approach a matchup like this if you were him? Well, I never thought we'd see this matchup. You have to wonder if there will be any lingering effects from this one. I'd say it's going to be almost impossible for him to not leave this matchup without some type of battle wound. And those are the type that stay with you forever. Here comes Corbin. Here comes Corbin. He's starting to stagger a bit. To be expected when you combine six of WWE's most volatile forces into one match. Look at this guy. He's better than what we're seeing right now. Oh, it's been a great match up to this point, and this could really go either way. Careful what you wish for. It could get real ugly outside the ring. And these guys are real ugly. Back inside now. Looks like he's starting to sweat now. To be expected when you combine six of WWE's most volatile forces into one match. But it's important to know that this match has been so evenly contested so far. You really can't pick a winner. And on top of that, John, these two guys couldn't be any more evenly matched at this point. There he goes, out of the ring. Back in the ring now. And what a reversal for Barry Corbin. it for the second time now. Is he the next Mr. Money in the Bank? He can't do it. He can't get that thing unhooked. He's simply reminding him that he's here. If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly real fast. 
Boy, they're looking a bit uneasy here. To be expected when you combine six of WWE's most volatile forces into one match. That's a good point, Michael. And I'm also starting to wonder if he's starting to lose confidence in his finisher after already using it with limited success twice. That's a good point, John. And I'd say this match is about as even as it could get at this point. Really pushing his opponent to the limit here. And Chad Gable is able to get out of the way. His Uncle Clark would be proud. My God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. The reversal from Ziggler. Now, why did he do that? A move like that's low. It's appalling, if you ask me. Totally disrespectful. Well, when he sees the belt, he likes to hit below it. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Oh, man, crashing. We got a metal chair in the ring. It's dangerous. When this guy's on, look out. Another vicious shot with that foreign object. He's showing no signs of letting up. The ring may not be big enough for what's about to unfold here. Are you kidding me? This entire arena may not be big enough. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. And the impact of that kick sounded awful, but I assure you, it hurt even worse. Look how slow he is to recover here. That was some serious punishment. What does John Cena have to do at this point to stay in the match? Looks to me like he's starting to feel great right counter. If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly real fast. The more punishment he takes, the slower and slower he is getting back to his feet. Not a lot of spring left in his step right now. Man, Jason Jordan, what offense. Still a long way from the top. KO goes down hard. Ooh, he may be out. Look out below! <laughs> wow, he's still down after that. He's right there with the briefcase in his hands. He's right there. He unhooks that is over. He's too busy bragging and boasting that got into this matchup. Just making his presence felt there. How many more chair shots can they take? We've got a climber. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Shot. You can hear that from a mutt. What a shot to Dolph Ziggler. King, we may need a doctor out here. Yeah, I think Dolph has been badly hurt. There's only so much a human being can stand. Somehow, he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. Oh boy. It looks like he's going for it. Yes. How will these guys do with absorbing the punishment they're about to receive out here? Given it looks like Jason Jordan could be done for. Oh, and this is testing Jason Jordan. He has to formulate a plan quickly to get things turned around. And Michael, given how evenly fought this has been up until now, this might be a pivotal point in this match. He's making a statement here with this attack. This guy's just getting worn out. I don't know how much longer he's going to be able to go. He's stumbling some now. He doesn't want to absorb much more punishment if he wants to win here. Well, it's nice to see his opponent making a go of things here, but the fact of the matter remains that he is winning this match decisively. I don't know about you guys, but I find it a little alarming that regardless of how many times he... And the Hermes' assault continues on the neck of John Cena. Oh, man, this is unbelievable. I don't know what we'll see if John can't turn this around. Oh, his body has to be broken right now. Oh, look at Kevin Owens. You're about to see what made this man famous. Watch. Back in the ring again. And he fails to connect with anything that time. Man, that was some miss, all right. I can feel the breeze all the way over here. Talk to the outside like yesterday's garbage. Heads up the ladder. He's just seconds from victory. He's wasting little time. longer he's going to be able to go. 
And it looks like this one's going out to the floor. I don't mind. Let's see a little outside the ring action. Wow, what a shot. Talk about battering someone. If there are many more of those, don't worry about the outcome of the match. Worry if we get a stretcher. Oh my God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. I don't remember the last time he executed that maneuver. He's in full-on attack mode now. Higher and higher. If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly real fast. He's showing no signs of letting up. Interesting move here. Taking the match to the outside. Interesting and dangerous. Wow. He's still down after that. He needs to dig way down deep if he wants to keep going now. Top of that ladder looks awfully far away. He wants no part of the outside. And I don't blame him. Nothing good ever happens outside the ring. 